Yo, what's up guys? Steve Reese here again for Does It Doom, where we feature weekly guitar lessons and gear demos in the stoner, doom, and sludge metal genres. So if that's your kind of thing, please like this video and consider subscribing to this channel for more weekly doom content. In today's video, we are going to be checking out Satanic Rites of Drugula by Electric Wizard, a great track off Witch Cult Today, which featured both Just and Liz on guitar. For this song, your guitar is going to need to be tuned to B standard, and the song is in the key of C sharp minor. So get your shit tuned up. I'm going to zoom in, do a quick demo, and then we're going to come back and break it down riff by riff. Check it. As I mentioned in the introduction, your guitar is going to need to be tuned to B standard and the song is in the key of C sharp minor, which means your root note is at the second fret on the sixth string and the ninth fret on the fifth string and again at the 14th fret on the sixth string up an octave, which is actually a fairly atypical position for a song, uh, but kind of gives it a unique flair. So uh, the first riff, which is in the sort of... Um, Phrygian mode goes like this. So this riff is using your root note, your minor sixth, your perfect fourth, and your flat second. The flat second here is what gives it that Phrygian sort of feel. So he starts off really slow and sludgy. Notice those open notes on the 
fifth and sixth strings, sort of at the end of each measurement. And you'll notice that this sort of on this, this slight bend where he's hinting sort of a half step bend. And then they come in and do it sort of, uh, Liz keeps playing that rhythm and just comes in with sort of single note runs. And then they sort of lean into the riff um, and speed it up a bit as the song progresses. So then as they progress through that riff and Liz keeps sort of playing that part and just starts doing this. Sliding into that root power chord, then these pull off. On the next part, so again. So you'll notice these are sort of pull-offs between the perfect fifth and the perfect fourth. And then root, and off the lower root. Then the next part of the song goes like this. This part is just using the natural minor scale. You've got a flat seven, the open, root, minor third, major second. couple things to note are that, you know, sort of microtonal, just hinting at the minor second, which would be a Phrygian note. And a bunch of vibrato on this minor third. So the last riff in the song is using the harmonic minor scale, and it goes like this. So you've got the root, the major seventh, and the flat six.
So as you can see in this song, it's definitely C sharp minor, but each of the main riffs is kind of rooted in a slightly different minor scale with that very first riff we discussed being in the Phrygian mode, the second riff being in the natural minor scale, and this third riff being in the harmonic, harmonic minor scale. So it's pretty cool how you can sort of blend these riffs and kind of add in some of these atonal qualities, uh, yet still stay minor and, and come up with a really foreboding sort of uh, song. So there's two solo sections in this song, one sort of over the second riff we covered, and then the outro solo over the first riff that we covered. The, the one that's over the second riff is sort of the main solo of the song, uses a wah pedal, uh, and the outro solo does not. But both solos sort of use the same uh, ideas in terms of scale, which is they're sort of fundamentally in the blues scale, but they also have some sections that borrow from the natural minor scale. So the at the 14th fret here, your blues scale is going to be... natural minor scale would be and then you've sort of got these very two common uh, extensions All right, guys, that takes us through the Satanic Rites of Drugula by Electric Wizard. Really cool song, great groovy riffs, um, really sort of infectious hooks, and I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, you can follow me on Instagram at DoesItDoom and at ItDooms if you want to share your own rigs and riffs with me and with everyone. Uh, so keep the uh, lesson requests coming. I check them all out, and uh, you know, keep commenting, and let me know if you, what you think of these lessons and demos and what you'd like to see more of. I try to respond to everybody. So until next time, Tony Iommi is your friend.